Before we begin, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, ZenThreadShop.com. This amazing website not only has great apparel, bath products, jewelry, and more, but they also donate a portion of their net proceeds to Beyond Giving, a 501c3 organization that currently provides funding to create and staff a nonprofit training center at which the underserved will acquire the entrepreneurial skills uh, they need to become self-sufficient. By entering the code ZTSROOM6 at checkout, you'll not only be helping the community, but saving 20% off your order too. It's a win-win all around. Thanks Zen Thread Shop for being a sponsor and thank you for watching. Now onto the show. I want, how do I be like you? How do I, you know, how do I get started? I, like I want to be a singer songwriter. I want to play covers in casinos or whatever. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> you'd be like. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm very happy to welcome singer-songwriter extraordinaire, <laughs> Viona from Silverscape. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Um, be honest, feeling a little under the weather, so I do appreciate you coming. Thank you very much. Totally. Um, first things first, welcome to my home. Ah, thank you. Self medication, kids. <laughs> ah. And I just want to say that toast is brought to you by Evan Williams. Evan Williams, so smooth. Please sponsor me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I keep waiting to hear back from EW, but uh, he, he hasn't responded. So, first question. How long have you been in Nevada? Most of my life. Uh, let's, let's do the math here. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long have you not been in Nevada? <laughs> let's see. I've been in Nevada for 17 years. Okay. Yeah, so. Since you were two. Since I was... <laughs> Since I was seven. He said after having drunk alcohol with her, he said, oh, no, she's 19. <laughs> so, right on. Um, we've, uh, well, we've been here like 17 years. I'm asking my father-in-law off camera. Something like that, 17 years. We're long, we're, we're natives now, so. Yeah, definitely. Um, how long have you been doing music? Just in general. Uh, I probably have been singing since I could speak. I have no... No definite starting point on that. So there was no, I, I went to a show where I heard this um, song or whatever and I decided I want to do that. No, I, okay. I think I've just always been drawn to music. Okay. When did you pick up a guitar? Because singing, of course, is not the same. Mm -hmm. um, well, I had a best friend in sixth grade who had a, a real cheapo beginner's guitar acoustic that we were just messing around with. That was, was the best to learn on. Yeah. <laughs> that was when I first picked up a guitar. Um, but I didn't start learning for real until 2009. Okay. So it's been 10 years. Right, I can actually quantify that. I, I, I'm like, I remember messing around and then, okay, I'm actually going to try and write a song. And then it becomes, okay, how do I get good at this kind of thing? So, um, now, how long has Silverscape been a thing? Since... Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon. 
since 2016. Have I given you the bug already? No. <laughs> no. I actually had, I had it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, man. This is just a dry cough from the desert. So, no, I'm fine. Um, and I thought you guys started last June, according to your about page. Uh, it says June 2016 on there. Oh, does it? Yeah. Sorry. In, in the actual <laughs> bio, it says, formed last, last June. And then it goes on. Oh, it's so I didn't look at the year. My bad. Bad. I did not do my my deep dive. I'm sorry. Well, bad on me for saying last June and not <laughs> specifying the year. It's all right. I I've actually <laughs> told people what it says on their bio page. Like, really? Who wrote that? <laughs> right on. Okay. So how? Uh, let's let's talk about early in, in musical influences. Hmm. You said you're singing since you could speak, basically. But what? Um, I've heard a little bit of your singing, mm -hmm. very lyrical, very flowing, I would say. I don't, okay. know, I, I'm, I don't know if that's how you would describe it. I don't really know how to describe okay. myself a lot of times. Well, I know that the, the band is called Prog, you called yourself kind of Prog Rock in, in the, a little blurb I saw. Yeah, uh, there's like a, a, prog -alt -rock a tinge of, of prog in there, right. but it's more of an influence rather than like the core mm -hmm. uh, genre. But what influenced... Young Viana's singing, which was a little thing. The earliest memories I have of of singers that kind of touched me in a way were Aaliyah, mm -hmm. uh, Alicia Keys, of course, Coldplay. Uh, you actually have a video up of a cover you did in uh, where were you? In? I was in Paris. Paris, yes. Which, if you're going to do Coldplay cover, I mean, that's not bad. What do you mean? I just mean, when I hear Coldplay, uh -huh. it sounds like something you would hear someone playing in Paris. I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't picture it. I don't picture it like it, someone playing in a subway in New York or, or something, which I know is done. But as soon as I saw the video, I was like, that makes sense. That's perfect. It felt appropriate. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not going to sing any of that because we don't want copyrights. <laughs> um, what is the current... Musical influences. What's what's got you jazzed up now when you listen to it? You know, I don't really have anything right now that I'm super excited about. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I, I find myself lately circling back on things that I've been listening to for years. Which would be what? Uh, Circa Survive, the Mars Volta, um, My Chemical Romance, <laughs> Paramore. Alicia Keys, uh, yeah. System of a Down. The the system surprised me a little bit based really? on well, based on hearing you sing your original stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I love me some system, SOD. Um, yes. SOD, sorry. But the um, the Alicia Keys are definitely here. And what? Uh, you must have a visitor. <laughs> look, if you don't. Just because, yeah. Chloe, just because you don't like Leash Keys. Fucking <laughs> diva, I swear. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that, folks, but faithful viewers know. Um, who came up with the name Silverscape? Was it you? It was all of us. The, all of the original lineup, we were kind of brainstorming in a Facebook messenger chat. And uh, I forget exactly how we arrived at these things, but I was kind of looking up roots, like yeah. like Latin roots and stuff. And I eventually arrived at Silver and Scape um, with, with running it by them, um, seeing how they felt about it. Silver is like, it has to do with the moon and emotions and intuition. Mm -hmm. And scape is actually another name for like a like a seedling, a seedling that's, that's right. It is has the potential to grow into something. I was huge. thinking landscape, of course, like most right. people do. So silverscape. Right. I was thinking um, like a moonlit landscape or something. A silverscape. Silverscape. Got to do that every time. We you are know? silverscape. <laughs> <laughs> if if I could go back and change the name, I would yeah, actually. But, I mean, Dave Grohl said the same thing about Foo Fighters. Oh really? And he's like, why? <laughs> If I'd known it was going to be a, such a big thing, it's a stupid name. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I tried um, 
for many years uh, to come up with a stage name for just myself and my original stuff. I just kept circling back to Joshua Court, right? Just kept circling back because I just, I nothing made sense. And um, my uh, my last original band was uh, the Suspense, which was about that moment right before the music when it pauses mm -hmm. and then crashes down. Mm -hmm. I love that. Nice. Uh, the pregnant pause, if you will. <laughs> Let's talk shows. <laughs> okay. What's your best or favorite show memory? And it, it's just could be good. Could be one where you almost ended up in jail or whatever. <laughs> like any show or a Silverscape show? Any show where you've performed. Okay. Uh, damn. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a good handful. Yeah. Incidentally, you are allowed to swear. <laughs> <laughs> um. I was playing the Fremont Country Club with my, uh, my all-female trio that I was in a while back. What was that called? Every Woman Band. Good name. <laughs> and it was a beer festival that day. Oh. oh. Yeah. What it, happened? <laughs> I think, I think it was, uh, around Halloween. It was like oh, a beer geez. festival festival around Halloween. And, uh, everyone in the room seems like they're drunk. And we start playing, uh, there were a couple of notable songs. We played My Hero by Foo Fighters. The whole room was singing along. Mm -hmm. It was it's one an of my incredible favorite. feeling. One of my favorites to perform. And it, 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 that, yeah, people just get into it. Yeah. And then, um, Seven Nation Army. Okay. I never, never fathomed that, that, an audience would do this, but they were chanting the riff. Oh, they were yeah. like, oh, 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 the whole crowd. It was crazy. I can see that. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Did you hear, this was news to me, like I'm so far out of the loop apparently, but uh, a few interviews ago, apparently Jack White, it, it was, it, they were not really brother and sister. They were married. I, they were, and then they got divorced. But they were putting it out there that they were brother and sister. They were putting it out there that they were siblings? White stripes? Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, mean, I always knew that they were married. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm old. I don't know. But yeah, no. Because um, the the person who told me that uh, started talking about it. I was like, yeah, yeah, they're brother and sister. Because they had the same last name. Not even, didn't even click. So hmm. obviously I care what Jack White does in his, you know, his life and relationships and stuff. Sorry. He doesn't know me. So <laughs> if, if you're listening though, you, I love your hats. So, uh, so from favorite show memory, mm -hmm. what'd you say is your, uh, your favorite venue in town? Whether you've in played Las it, Vegas? yeah, whether you've played there or, or not, and it doesn't have to actually be Las Vegas. Maybe you've played in Paris, you know, maybe there's some place where you're like, that was my favorite venue. To hear, to hear live music or to play live music? It's between... I don't know if it's there anymore because the SLS Sahara has gone through so much change. Yeah. But uh, when it was the SLS, I had performed there a handful of times at the Sayers Club. Yes, Very I've cool seen a show there. there. I've seen a show there. Uh, I actually knew people on stage and I was... I, I remember thinking, I want to play here. Mm. It was intimate, yet at the same time it felt big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's cool. It kind of has like a speakeasy vibe. Very, very sophisticated lighting. Mm. I remember there were beautiful people there. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was one of those kind of places where yeah. I'm listening to... It was actually... They were playing original music there, too, which mm -hmm. was really impressive mm -hmm. for a casino place. So Yeah. So All it's right. between there and Brooklyn Bowl. You know, Brooklyn Bowl is... I haven't been yet. Every time I think I'm oh, going to really? go... Yeah, every time I think I'm going to go... Something comes up. If I'm in the area and I pop, I'm like, well, who's playing tonight? It's a private party. Oh. Yeah. I haven't been yet. Never got the chance to play. And I want to go, but I hear good things. I hear amazing things about how they take care of musicians. Yeah. Like, really they good. really do. Yeah. Um, I'm partial just because I've, I've been on both on stage and in the crowd uh, to the House of Blues. Mm -hmm. They they really, I mean, yes, it's the House of Rules. Yes, it's, 
you you know House no, of Rules. That's the joke. Yeah, I've never heard that. Oh, they have a lot of rules for oh, playing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the bands don't even get like a free bottle of water any, uh, most of the time. Yeah, it's unless you're big. You know, the big acts they get this stuff. But yeah, no, um, Manly Bay. That's uh, what I'm told is it's, it's a Manly Bay thing. Uh, like if you go to a House of Blues it's somewhere else, it's a more standalone. Could be different, but um, but still, you got a, a sound person up front and a sound person in the wings. You sound amazing to you and to them. Yeah. Yeah. It was actually one of the uh, few times I went to, um, I just actually did a, um, I went to uh, the Wacken Metal Battle, like Battle of the Bands, seven metal bands, and like three of them were from out of town and four of them were local, uh, minus actually one. Good job. Um, they've been on the channel. Link here. Is that too obvious? All right. And, uh, <laughs> but actually, uh, I, I, I'm actually, I'm doing a review of the show. I'm doing a review of the venue, and I'm doing a review of Minus's performance. And, uh, nice. no phones on the set! <laughs> no set. Um, but, it was, I, I was amazed that, except for one band that was, like, thrash. I was just, <laughs> you know, I could understand everybody's words. That's awesome. It is very awesome. I wasn't even up front. It was, it was a like, good job. Good job, hospice. Anyway, moving on. Is there a dream show that you want to play? Or a dream tour you want to be on, or... I mean, I want to tour the world. <laughs> Money, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's definitely about the money to an extent, but more so it's about the experience of just being in contact with that many diverse peoples. And one of my one of my goals in life is to help people feel like the world is a smaller place. Mm, definitely. And see that we're not really that different from each other. It really is a small world. Don't start the song. Don't start the song. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get that in my head. Um, <laughs> do you have any sort of like Patreon or Kickstarter to help you go around the world? No. Get no. started, girl. Come on. You know, right now I'm starting my new my new cover trio and that's going to be my uh, my way to save money to Eventually move to Paris. Move to Paris. Move to Paris. All right. I, I hear what I hear is it's a nice place to visit more so than it is to live there. Kind of like New York. That's what I've heard too. So, but I I don't know what it is. I'm just very drawn to moving there. Like, what? well, you've been there and I haven't. Yeah. So, I've been there just in my dreams. And <laughs> someday, someday maybe. Um. All right. Let's talk gear. Mm -hmm. What are you currently rocking when you're on stage? Well, right now I'm in a transitional phase. It, it varies depending on my mood. I'll play either the electric or the acoustic. I have a, a Yamaha. Yamaha. Uh, mm -hmm. I have an acoustic Yamaha. And then I have a Paul Reed Smith for my electric guitar. Mm. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I think Paul Reed Smith is, is underutilized, under, I won't say underappreciated, but it's good guitar, I think. It is. Uh, on your Yamaha, do you happen to know the model? I don't. I'm I do just, not. Some people get very, like, I have this, and, it's, and they list like 10 stats about it. I'm like, cool, man. Yamaha's cool story, great. Bro. Yeah. Uh, Yamaha's Yamaha really is good. solid. Um, any particular strings you use, or picks you use, or pickups, or any of that stuff? I use... Uh, what are they? The I can't even think of what brand it is. The the black jazz threes, uh, the ones that are like picks? satin finish. Are those Tortex? I don't. Maybe. I don't Comment know. below if you know, please. Um, but I I don't know. I, no, I, well, they're Dunlop. They're Dunlop. Yes. Yeah. It's been a while since I've actually seen that. Now that I think uh -huh. about it, uh, uh, when you play, you generally run them through the PA or. Um, for acoustic, yes, and for electric, right now I'm transitioning to using this multi-effects pedal called the TC Helicon Voice Live Extreme 3. What a mouthful. Sounds like a calculator. <laughs> I just sold my amp recently, just to kind of downsize and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the venues that I want to be playing at for my cover gigs mm -hmm. don't allow amplifiers. Yep. 
right. and, and they want the drums to be electric or to have a sound baffle and all that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you're just basically into the effects and then straight into the house main house PA. Mm -hmm. Do you have you don't have, you run your own sound system? At all? Um, it depends on the gig. Right on. I mean, yeah, if they don't if they have them, right? Um, strings are just whatever. Um, I've been sticking to Diodarios lately. Oh. For electric. What do I use for acoustic? I don't really know. <laughs> it's alright. I, I know I've got elixirs on at least one acoustic, but, uh... Oh, elixirs are nice. I need to... That tells you how often we change our strings, right? <laughs> I, I want to get some acoustic elixirs for the next time I change my right. strings. <laughs> They're really good, in my opinion, anyway. The kind of music I play, they're they're good for uh, recording, mm -hmm. but also for live. Um, they seem to straddle the line. Ooh, any other instruments you play? I play the drums. I play mm -hmm. bass. I play bass in my friend's original band. Uh, I don't play drums in any bands. Uh, Shout them out. What's the band? Oh, Half Past. <laughs> half Past. At nice. Half Past LV on Instagram, nice. Twitter, and Facebook. Nice. Um, oh, that'll probably be appearing. Bing. <laughs> and um, what kind of music is that? I have been describing it as indie math rock, but oh, nice. as as we continue playing and I observe the sound more, there's 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 emo in there. Like I feel like emo needs to be in the. In I, the I often think game. math and prog rock. There's a bit of emo and there's a bit of like sitting alone, just working on your you know. Like you're not going out and having parties. You're you're Sitting alone, you're just being very emo. Yeah. Um, well, well, hey, you guys should come on. <laughs> I'm down. Come on, bring I'm them on sure the show. They, I'm sure they'd be down too. Think they can handle acoustic? Yes. Cool. Yes. Because, um, you know, you've seen the interviews and I, I don't have room for a drum set. So. <laughs> I also uh, dabble a little bit with the drums and the bass um, and, and other things. And it's. I. Do you ever feel like you're not giving enough service to the other things when you focus on guitar? Or do you actually practice all of them? Well, I don't have a drum kit, so well, I practice drums whenever I can, which is probably once every week or two weeks at a, at a rehearsal or, or at the School of Rock where I teach. Oh, you do? Which, for, uh, which one? I teach at the Las Vegas West location. Do you know this is... Mm-hmm. Yes. Shout out to Lizzie. Indeed. Shout out to Paper Tigers. Trying to get him on the show, but that woman works seven days a week. She's busy. Yeah. Anybody can help Lizzie and Paper Tigers come on the, uh, you know, on the show. That'd be great. Free Lizzie. Free Lizzie. <laughs> Hashtag Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, and do you know um, a guy named Spencer King? Teaches uh, he, piano. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, he's actually the keyboardist or pianist in my uh, my jazz band. Cool. Yes, Dirty Martini. He's great. He 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 is actually really great, and um, I'm we're very happy to have him. Um, well, there was someone else I know that I don't remember whether they teach the one here in Green Valley or uh, over there, but anywho, gear. So that's what you're currently rocking. Any any dream gear? Anything you're like lusting after, like Wayne's World moment? Soon you'll be mine. You know, I don't. I haven't explored that much gear to really make an informed decision like that. I, I do like orange. I've realized. Oh, the brand. Sorry, <laughs> I was like, I like orange. Just orange guitars, orange. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> I thought you meant the color. I don't know why I thought you meant the color. <laughs> you probably need some vitamin C, though. I probably do. Um, and, but yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't have nailed orange for your original stuff. Really? For you, so, solo original stuff. Mm -hmm. But then again, I haven't heard a lot of it, so. I don't know. I there's a there's a, there's a certain sound to the to the more driven tones in. And the orange amps that I like, right. I would kind of like to morph into what I have already established with the Vox, Vox AC15 is oh, what yeah. I was using before. Vox is awesome. Yes. 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 I don't know if it, it is, is different than an orange for sure. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, 
that's actually awesome. I think Orange can give you with your music a, a dimension, uh, like you can say, let's let's explore, let's mess around, which uh, a more simple amp maybe you're messing around with the effects on your pedal. So, okay. you know, actually, I just thought of a pedal that I really want. I want the, the Lanny pedal. Um, which one? <laughs> oh, I don't really know what... But, look, when you say whammy, you mean the it's, Wawa? It's the red one. <laughs> it's the red, okay, it's uh, the red one. But you mean the Wawa pedal? Uh, no. Okay. It's, you can do a, I don't know the actual term for this thing, but like it's a pitch dive, and you can um do... So it's called a whammy pedal? Yeah. Yeah, you can do like octaves oh. and different harmonies. With it. I am unfamiliar with this. I thought you were just calling the Wawa pedal something different. I'm going to have to look this up. Oh, hmm. it's very cool. Yeah. I, it, I believe it's what uh, Tom Morello uses. Ah, one of those. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know it was called Whammy Pedal, but mm. that's how he does it, yes. I don't know who makes it. You can have a lot of fun with that. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I've had so many ideas in my head where I'm like, mm. I'm hearing, I'm hearing guitar with that effect on, mm. and I don't have it. Do you ever do any sort of um, like I have a, I have this idea and you like record it vocally, even if it's a musically. Yes. You do that absolutely. Uh, you know who uh, used to do that? It was um, not Keith Moon, Rolling Stones. Keith Richards. Yeah, Richards. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> I have another drink. Um, Keith Richards was very us all, but he used to do that. And uh, there's a story where he woke up after a night of partying. And he always kept it by his bed, and he saw that he'd recorded something, so he rewound it. Have you heard this story? No. Played it back, and he goes, and he hears him playing, he goes, no, 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 can't give me no satisfaction. And that's how the song got started, which was like one of their biggest hits. So, Amazing. Yep. Uh, he doesn't I, remember writing it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I always make sure to record if I have an idea. There's probably a good handful of little videos in my phone where I'm like, no, 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 yeah. no, no. <laughs> One of the nicest things about uh, phones nowadays is that they come built with like a um, HD audio recording software. Just, you know what? Think, what? I have a Google Pixel 3a now. Mm. Before that, I was just on the iPhones. Sorry. That's cool. They have their little voice recording app that comes stuck on the phone. This phone doesn't have that. Oh, now see, I've been I've been an LG man for a while, and they always seem to have it oh. after the G4. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually used I used to do tech support for people's cell phones, so I'm I was up I was up on it for a while, mm -hmm. and I was like, no, I don't need the newest thing because <laughs> I know what's going to go wrong with it because I fix it for people all the time. Uh -huh. And a glass phone, what the hell? Anyway, <laughs> it's made of glass. Um, all right, so from the highs of Dream Gear to the lows of Losing gear. You ever lose gear? I have not, actually. Thankfully. I find you that solo artists don't always lose the gear. That's all they got. <laughs> I, I do feel some grief for having to have sold my Vox. Yeah, but that's not losing it, per se. You chose <laughs> to. I Believe me, I, there are guitars where I can barely remember what they looked like. It was so long ago, but I wish I had them. Just to, just because I sold them for, you know, now I know what they're worth, you know, it's like, mm. oh, I can't believe I did that. You know, I had a second acoustic before also, it was a Siegel, oh. and I opted to sell, because I was in a pinch financially, I opted to sell that one over my Yamaha. I wish I had sold my Yamaha. I, you, you don't hear Siegel too often, and it, depending, from what I understand, depending on the model, some of them are good and some of them aren't. Like, they have their bargain basement in I can I have 88 books kind of thing. That seagull was so good. That's such a warm well, tone. You know, they, they probably are still making more. Yeah. Probably could, so, I'm just saying, they swap it out. Uh. Uh. Hey, seagull, sponsor. <laughs> All right. Um, before we get on to the, the very last question, any, any gig coming up? Thursday. That's that's the crave wave though. That's my cover act. You still, just check her out. <laughs> check them out. Um, where is that? It's at the barber shop inside the Cosmopolitan at ten p.m. Now, assuming 
I probably won't get this up in time for that. I'm just saying, because I know what's scheduled already. But what's coming after that? Any other gigs? Uh, mind if I check my calendar? Please, by all means. I want to do that. It's your show. Let's see. Mm -hmm. The next time I'm performing at Silverscape is March 19th at the Homegrown Songwriter Showcase at The Artisan. Shout out to Lori Steele. Homegrown. I love the Homegrown. That was one of the best moments ever. Uh, it was like right after midnight. Cause it's, you're talking about on 92.3, right? Pump? I don't, <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think they're affiliated. Oh, oh, not that homegrown. No. Okay, then. I'm familiar, though. Shout out to Lori Steele, anyway. Shout anyway, out to Lori comp, Steele. Comp 92.3, homegrown show, you're awesome. Also, shout out to House of R, the man who... Yes, the human jukebox, <laughs> who I... We, we are Facebook friends, we've never met in person, and we've communicated... I've been, I've gone to see him and he, he actually had to cancel that gig. So, uh, one of these days, Hal, we're going to meet. Okay. <laughs> Come March 19th. Oh, that's right. That's at the Artisan? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's, I've been seeing the post. I've been meaning to come down there. Um, it's, it's a cool vibe. I'm busy. I'm tired. I'm broke. I know. Excuse me. Free Josh Courtright. <laughs> no, I'm busy with this. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, actually. I force myself to go to shows sometimes so I can get content, which is terrible. <laughs> but it's like, okay, that's my excuse for going. That's why I'm going to go have fun. That's why I'm going to go spend money. You need an excuse to go have fun. <sighs> I have a wife and child and, you know, the money, they, they need, they want things too. And so, yeah, sometimes I have to sit there and go, okay, I'm going to go do this. And they want me to go. They want me to go have fun. But I, I, must, I talk myself into it. I always have a good time. Always. I meet, always meet people who I wouldn't have met otherwise. Uh, people who end up right here. <laughs> Many's the time. Or it's because I went to see someone else. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. If you ever meet me at a show and I have my phone up, I'm actually working. But please feel free to talk to me. Please. I'm not one of these guys that's just like, I'm working, leave me alone. Um, because, you know, I want to talk to everybody. Um, last question. You made it. Didn't mm -hmm. pass out. Yay! Way to not die. Um, let's pretend you're talking to a new musician. <clears throat> a new musician? New musician. Someone okay. comes up like, oh, I want, how do I be like you? How do I, you know, how do I get started? I, like or, I want to be a singer songwriter. or I want to play covers in casinos or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, no. <laughs> You'd be like, don't. Just, just don't. Live your life, child. No, but <laughs> what is, what is, uh, What's one thing you wish someone had told you when you were first starting out? Uh, believe in yourself. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, don't say the usual, uh, like, change your strings. <laughs> so believe in yourself. She you know, said with a straight face. <laughs> I, honestly, though, because yeah. I, I didn't really have that encouragement, you know? I was lucky enough to believe in myself enough to have that motivation but like not everybody does and there was a period of my life where I was already kind of gigging and I stopped believing in myself mm. so better done that yeah so I mean you gotta believe in yourself be patient with yourself you gotta network that's half the battle is who you know um unfortunately it's true <laughs> it, it is a music business especially in this town it's very oversaturated with musicians Mm -hmm. Everyone comes here, or, or they, they grow up here, and they, they're like, I could do that. And yeah, you can do it, but can you actually like, live in it, or, or at least do it so that you stay relevant? It's really hard. Um, and then musicians are flaky, of course, so. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being on time, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> um, so, uh, know your competition, mm. but don't be petty. Yeah, support your competition. Yeah. Because, exactly. you know, what goes around comes around. That's the thing is that I don't even know if competition is the right word. I would say support your, you know, your peers. Um, unless you're actually in a battle of the bands or something, competition, we're, we're all trying to get the same place, basically. And whatever that place is, support your local scene yeah. and believe in yourself 
I think are, are really good things to uh, pursue. Um, well, thank you very, very much for coming. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure.
In the meantime, if you want to check out more from Beyond or Silver Skate, click here. If you want to subscribe to this channel, click down here and don't forget to ring that bell. Really appreciate you coming by. Remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say bye. Bye now. Bye. <laughs>